welcome, welcome to our live chat. I'm Heather and Renee and I come to you live every single day, Monday through Friday. Um, so you can know everything about Luminous and what we have to offer, how to put it on, what to do with it. So if you are new to Luminous, um, you, <laughs> if you are new to Luminous, you are going to learn what to do here. Um, hey, can you, he'll go out, go out, baby. Um, my coworker is coming to get the dog. Thank you. Um, so <laughs> sorry. <for that. laughs> anyway, we do go over the basics. We go over um, what I thought a door was going to slam. We go over how to airbrush, what you get in your kit, all of that good stuff. So, hey, Candy, Nancy, Amber, good afternoon. Yeah, at first, um, <laughs> thanks, Dave. I, there's a delay, and so I leave up that screenshot uh, for a sec while it's going live. Um, so that's why there is a little bit of a delay. Um, I think some people have more than others. I don't know. So there you go. That's why. Um, all right. So if you're waiting on your kit, if you have a kit, it might look like this. This is our Icon Pro. And then you might have one that looks exactly the same except in black and that is the icon and as you can tell it, it comes with the makeup so it's not that we you know you get the system and you're like okay what do i do now we give you the makeup as well and think of this um the starter kit as your practice kit so we give you two large bottles of foundation we also give you the um love and blush and you're we're going to go over all that so you can see um how that works and we give you the two large bottles of foundation so you can mix and match the colors so you can with luminous match 365 days a year which is pretty darn cool um and you know a lot of times with other foundations you go out when you change i mean we know we change shades but you go out you purchase a new one and then it's not the right shade then you have to take it back and then all the with us, you can mix and match to have that perfect shade. And that's what I love about it. Um, also, the two large bottles so you can practice. I mean, we want you to practice. We want you to have fun with it and experience it. Um, <laughs> I will tell her, hey, Patty, how are you? I will tell her. I will. I will. Um, all right. So now let's see. Make sure I got everybody. Now I'm going to show you what we have. There's four steps that we want you to do when you're new and when you're starting out. And so this just basically gets you used to the system. So the very first thing is get it out of the box and start playing with it. And just it comes already put together. The only thing you have to do is plug in the power cord. So the air comes out of the hose here that's already attached to the compressor and the stylus. When you turn it on, there is air that comes out. And what's great about that is, one, I'm hot, so it feels really good. But two, wherever you feel that air is where the makeup's going to go. So take your stylus and go around and play with it and just feel the air. Because you'll know that, oh, okay, I feel it right here. That's where the makeup's going to go. Then we want you to hold it about four finger widths away from the face. And that's another thing you can practice. You can also put water in here and practice because the last thing is barely pull back on the trigger. And that's going to be the one thing you're really going to want to practice because we don't want a lot of makeup coming out at one time. And I know that sounds wrong because it's like you've been doing traditional makeup for a while and you, you're used to seeing it immediately. Well, with Luminous, you're not. It's going on so light that you're not going to see it go on. It should be like magic. So there you go. Uh, hey, Candy. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start with, I think I'll start with glow this time. So I'm going to shake up. I am going to do a very natural look. So I'm not, you know, normally what we do is more of a, um, Bam! Look, and so I am going to do a more natural look. And so I'm going to go in and do, I'm going to go ahead and do three. Because I'm going to do um, some drops or some passes under my eyes to highlight underneath my eyes. 
And again, I, I actually make my moves first and then start pulling back on the trigger. And you that just helps. So if um, so you're not staying in one spot, I can just start making the pass, pull back and keep going. <laughs> did um, did Renee mention something about tomorrow, Patty? Does she hint? Does she hint to you guys? So we actually just spoke and we're not going to do it at noon. We're going to do it at four tomorrow. So that way it's on. Uh, Renee and I will both be on tomorrow at four. So we can do Facebook and uh, YouTube. And you're definitely not going to want to miss it. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And then, guys, Saturday, um, if you are, if you're not on Instagram, on, on our Instagram, make sure you go to Luminous Cosmetics um, Instagram and follow us because on Saturday uh, we're going to do a live video with Ian Michael Crum. And he is an amazing influencer, makeup artist, and we're going to be doing makeup on our moms. And so that's going to be, so much fun. and it's at 1230 central time. So depending on what time zone you're in, uh, we'll have um, something to show that as well, hopefully tomorrow. Um, and so, yeah, so tomorrow at four, Friday at four, You'll want to be on Facebook or YouTube so you can see both Renee and I. And then Saturday, 1230 Central on Instagram so you can um, watch us with our moms. It's going to be, if you, Ian Michael Crumb is a bait. His Instagram is Ian, I-A-N-M-C-R-U-M-M. -M -M. Um, and he is amazing he's beautiful amazing such a sweet spirit and we're very excited my mom's gonna be on his mom's gonna be on it's going to be so much fun so we're doing it for mother's day uh so it'll be movie fun -o. all right so i have a little bit of the glow i even though i'm doing a natural look i'm still gonna go in and do some contouring i don't have to do a lot of contouring but i like to show you this the matte bronzer is on special, so I do want you to see how to use it. And I will do the matte bronzer first because I do like um, to show you how to use it. Um, and I do it first because if you're new to doing any kind of contouring, kind of warming up the skin, it will um, it, it creates warmth, but doing it first if you get heavy handed, just like the blush, you can airbrush the foundation on over and it'll blend it out. Okay. So I'm going to start the machine. I have the, the matte bronzer in here and then I'm going to go in again. I start my movements, but guys, this is a sh like a, I mean, it's pretty dark. Like that's pretty darn dark, but notice like how gradual it is. So that should show you so do it that way. That should show you how light your spring. Do a little bit of my temple area. Oh, okay. And then go down here. Make sure I see everybody. Um, all right. So now, yeah, the next couple of days is going to be a lot of fun for sure. So again, see how gradual this is, guys? Haven't done the foundation yet. We're just moving up. Oh, Candy just got some goodies. All right, so now taking my matte bronzer, I'm gonna add a couple more drops real quick. Because I did use a lot. 
Okay. So see how nice and I mean, you can, you can see it, but it's still very subtle. It's not too much. It's, you know, again, it's okay if it gets a little bit too heavy because I'm still going to blend it. Now, I'm doing it as eyeshadow. So again, my movements are the same. Uh, oh, Candy got the lip jelly and all the blushes. Yay, Candy. You're going to love them. All right. Look at that. Look how it's so subtle. Can you see it? So I can go in, I can make it as deep, as natural, whatever I need to. And remember, if you are new to doing the eyeshadow, you can always go in and blend with a brush if you need to. So like if you did, you're like, ah, oh, that's too much or that's not blended. You can go in and nicely blend like that if you need to. If you don't, then don't do it. I'm just going in and kind of tweaking it a little bit. Go right there. Bam. I think I'll do a little bit more on the contour so I don't waste it. And then now I'm going in with my foundation. One coworker is running from another coworker. And so I have a little, I'm trying to use what's left in this bottle. All right, so now I'm going in and I'm gonna just start making my passes. And now I can make one pass. I make one all over pass. And then I'll go in and make and kind of concentrate on those areas. That I need to, to blend it, but see how nice and blended it's starting to be. Oh, awesome. All right, so bam, there you go. I'm not even gonna have to use all the foundation that I had in there, so I can go pretty, pretty light. So just remember that you're getting your um, your coverage by the passes that you make. I don't like to say layers because with Luminous, it's not layers. You're not layers to me. It means that you're covering your whole entire face, and with Luminous, you're not doing that. That's not how airbrush works. Um, it is more, um, it's just very subtle. Um, it's not going to be as, um, that's why, I mean, that's why it feels like natural skin. It, even if you like full coverage, it's still going to feel and look like natural skin. All right. So now I'm going to go in and just with, I'm doing some matte right here. Just to lighten up. And that's the other thing I love with Luminous is the fact it's not all or nothing. So you can do traditional with airbrush, um, change it up. You know, if there's, I mean, that explains itself. <laughs> you can change it up any way you like. So with a medium brown and a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm using the, the, end of it, the tip of it as my eyeshadow and I'm going to smudge right underneath and see how soft that is. It's not going to be too hard. Very, very soft. I'm 
just gonna create a little bit of darkness right on that corner. I use my fingers a lot to like blend or um, kind of tweak it a little bit. Um, don't, you know, don't be scared of that. All right, there we go. So again, that's why I like just that softness underneath. It's very, very subtle, um, not too, too much. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Lion Queen. And this has a gold, very natural gold highlight. And I'm gonna keep my eyes matte, but just give me a little bit of shine on those areas or those highlights that I want to stand out. Now, the other thing is if, like, I think yesterday I got, like, this part of my lip too highlighted. I was like, whoa, I think I even ate some of it. Uh, and so you can go in and powder if you need to in those certain areas. I think, like, my nose right now is too highlighted. And so I can go in. Here it doesn't look bad, but on the mirror it does. So I can go in with a powder brush. And I'm just hitting my nose, just like that. Bam. There you go. Now you can add a little bit of mascara. You can even add eyeliner if you wanted to, just to kind of define the um, the lashes up here. Uh, one thing that um, um, Renee says is she likes to tickle the lashes up here, so it's a very thin, thin line, uh, which I love that. All right, so now I'm going to add, this is Spark or Stark, one of those, Stark. And I didn't put the conditioner on. Uh, it would go, well, no, these are pretty um, creamy, so they're not. Sometimes if you, your lips are dry, your lip liner will like kind of sputter or what I call hiccup. But because these are so creamy, they don't do that. So I'm going in. And I'm going to smudge. Smudge, smudge, smudge. Again, use my finger. Right there. Let me get a wipe so I can wipe that off. And and at this point, you could like I like this color. I actually could put a lip topper on. I could do um, like unicorn. Unicorn changes everything to beautifulness. Um, you could also put the lip jelly on. So if you wanted to stay very subtle and very um, minimal then definitely do that um i think i'm going to do desert rose which is one of our lip stains and with our lip stains i work with them pretty quickly and then i leave and i lift the heart for a few minutes to let them dry and uh, i'm going right up to that line And kind of this one too. And then you want to leave your lips apart while it dries. Now I am going to try something a little different though. Which one is this one? This is Midtown. I want to put this on top. because I didn't want it as pink. I'll show you both of them real quick. I used both of these. These are both the lip stains. So I put this one on first, and then I did Midtown to kind of neutralize it a little bit um, and to not make it so pinky. Um, so that's you just have to play with it and experience it and have fun with it. 
And then now I'm going in and I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'll end with putting a little bit <laughs> I'll put a little bit of mascara on and then I'll be good to go. So again, our new normal does not have to be spending hours and hours on makeup. There's a lot of new tricks we can do. There's a lot of, um, you know, especially with Luminous, you don't have to do a lot to look amazing. And the fact that we're not touching our skin is pretty darn cool as well. So there you go. Now I have a little bit of mascara on, which helps frame the eyes. And bam, done. So there you go, guys. I'm going to lick my lips. All right, done. All right, so I will see you back here at 4. We will talk about what's happening tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what's happening, but we'll talk about it. All right, guys, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow, or see you at 4, sorry.